How to use the text user interface with the Trio Q Data Radio. The trainee will be able to establish communications with a Trio Q data radio using the text user interface for low bandwidth communications. The text user interface TUI, provides an alternative to the HTML web user interface for configuration and diagnostics. The TUI can be accessed directly from the serial port of the Q data radio or via a telenet or SSH session. The TUI is enabled on COM1 by default, while Telonet is also enabled by default, however, this requires an Ethernet connection. Access to the TUI via the serial port is useful if you have forgotten the IP address of the radio you are trying to configure or diagnose. Antenna Connection Bench testing is typically performed over short distances so RF signals need to be significantly attenuated. Using dummy loads or whip antennas is not recommended. A suitable method for attenuation of RF signals is to use a 4-port RF attenuator. An attenuator accurately reduces RF signal level, simulating a real-world, long-distance RF link. Other types of RF attenuators can be used providing the total attenuation is between 80 dB to 100 dB. Check the attenuator power ratings against the configured transmit power of the radio. DC power connection. Ensure each radio is wired using the correct polarity and that the power supply is regulated and has adequate current delivering capacity. For other power supply options please refer to the user manual. Apply DC power to the radios. The radio will begin a boot up process. This process can take up to 2 minutes. Once the boot up process has completed, the PWR LED should be solid green. Establishing communication with the Trio Q data radio. Ensure the Trio Q data radio has been factory cleared. The factory default IP address of the Q data radios is 192.168.2.15. You will need to set the IP of your PC in the same range, for example 192.168.2.10, and default subnet mask. Connect your PC Ethernet port to one of the Ethernet ports, to verify you can communicate with the QR450 you should first ping the radio. Open up a command window on your PC by going to start and type CMD, then hit enter. Type ping 192.168.2.15, which is the default address of the radio. The radio should respond to the ping as shown below. Radio Network Configuration Using a Text User Interface TUI. The text user interface can be accessed via Telonet. This is convenient if you are remotely connected to a QData radio via an Ethernet network. The Telonet interface requires much less bandwidth compared to the web user interface, which results in higher speed access to configuration parameters and diagnostics. Most computer operating systems come with integrated Telenet software. For Windows-based operating systems you can initiate a Telenet session using the command line interface. The Telenet service can be enabled or disabled using the web user interface. Note, for Windows 7 and later you may need to enable Telenet in the configuration panel. To start a Telenet session, open a command window via start and type Telnet 192.168.2.15 Assuming the radio has the default IP address. The TUI is divided into three distinct areas, hit A for unit information. This displays the unique unit information about the radio such as serial number, currently configured IP address and firmware pack version identification. Hit B for configuration. This provides access to the configuration of network parameters, radio configuration, serial interfaces, e diags security, SNMP and IP routing. Hit C for diagnostics. 
This provides access to the diagnostics facilities in the radio. Hit D for maintenance. This provides access to rebooting the radio. Now you know how to use the text user interface with the Trio Q Data Radio. Thank you for watching. For further information please visit www.schneider-electric.com or contact your local Schneider Electric representative.